a tax system and a regulatory system that is stifling economic growth and hurting our ability to grow jobs and get our economy back on the right track. And finally, we have an entitlement system that is unsustainable, that we can no longer afford, and we are heading for insolvency. And if we don't do something about it, it is not only not going to be there for future generations, the entitlement programs are going to collapse right on top of the very people who are dependent upon them today and who are beneficiaries of those programs today. We must stand firm on these issues. This is a line in the sand moment for Republicans. But it is also, but it is also a line in the sand moment for America. Pastor mentioned it earlier. He said, I couldn't agree with him more. He said, we are in a battle for the heart and soul of this country. That's right. Amen. That's right. And time, time is running short. That window of opportunity to address these problems before they become too insurmountable is nearing. It is rapidly approaching. And one thing that I have always criticized the Republican Party for is that we're never aggressive enough. We're never on offense. We need to be more articulate about what we believe in. We can't back down. We cannot allow the opposition to define the narrative because if they do, not only are we going to lose elections, we are going to lose our country. Exactly. Now, unfortunately, we've recently witnessed even Republicans starting to distance themselves and oppose some of the reforms that are being proposed in Washington, like the Paul Ryan budget plan. Now is not the time for Republicans to blink. Now is not the time for us to stick our finger into the wind to sit, see which way it's blowing. I can tell you this, that I am the only Republican running for United States Senate that has come out unequivocally in support of the Paul Ryan budget plan, and my only criticism, my only criticism of the plan is that it probably doesn't go far enough, fast enough. Correct. And I'll support any plan to reform Medicare and reform Social Security and balance our budget. I'll reform any plan that helps get our economy going again. But right now, the Ryan budget plan is the only serious plan being debated in Washington, D.C. Where is the plan of President Obama and Bill Nelson? Where is the plan from the other Republicans who say that they oppose Paul Ryan's changes? Because I can share with you this, you cannot balance the federal budget in 10 years if you oppose the changes to Medicare. Because Medicare is going bankrupt. In 2024, Medicare Part A will be insolvent. And that date is rapidly approaching even quicker. Because just last year, that same report said that Medicare was going to be bankrupt in 2029. And the projections for Medicare say that we're currently spending nearly $500 billion, but in 10 years, it's going to be nearly a trillion dollars. If we don't get the entitlement system under control, we're never going to be able to get our economy going again. That's why this is such an important issue, because the status quo is unacceptable. People who are running away from the types of reforms are more worried about elections and election results. We can't be afraid. We can't worry about what the political consequences are going to be. We need to be concerned with what are the consequences to the future of our country if we fail to take bold and meaningful action because timid tweaks to the status quo are not going to solve the challenges that America faces today. don't rise to the challenge, like America has risen to the challenge so many times before and persevere, 
like in our nation's founding, or in the 1850s and 1860s, or in the last century during the Great Depression and the World Wars, when America rose up and proved what made us so special and so unique to get through those difficult times. If we're not willing to do it again in this generation, at this moment in time, then what we are going to leave for the future generations to inherit are crushing taxes, a lower standard and quality of living, and a resulting loss of personal freedoms. The question that I would ask today, that I would hope that each and every one of you would ask today, is where do we want America to be five years from now? And we are ready. America is ready for another resurgence, for economic prosperity, for peace through strength, and for a restoration of those foundational Judeo-Christian principles. And in 2010, we saw it happen right here in Florida and all across the country, where the American people rose up, where they were awakened, and they said, enough is enough. We want our leaders to tell it like it is. And if they're not going to get the job done, then we're going to go find somebody else who will. 2010, as the pastor talked about when Marco talked even on the night he was sworn in, we have to continue. 2010 was just the beginning. In 2012, we need to send reinforcements to Washington, D.C. to help get the job done. Because for all we did, for all each and every one of you in this room did, to elect Marco Rubio to the United States Senate, every vote that he takes in Washington on the big issues of the day is canceled out by Bill Nelson. Yep. And Bill Nelson has been the biggest cheerleader for the Obama administration, supporting Obamacare and cap and trade and card check, taking our country in a much different direction, transforming it into something that would be unrecognizable to future generations. But we cannot get our country back on track until we take back majority in the United States Senate and make Barack Obama a one-term president. But it's not just about sending any Republican to replace Bill Nelson. It's about sending someone who has the courage to say what needs to be said and do what needs to be done regardless of the political consequences. I'm asking for your support. I'm asking for you to join our movement at adamhasner.com. We know that this is not going to be easy, but there is nothing more important right now. Join us. Help us fight to save our country. God bless you, and God bless the United States.